What you wore and for how long depended on who died in your relation to them. So here's a chart that explains all that, and in this video I'm just going to focus on the widow, because the widow had the heaviest burden of mourning. Now this is deep or first mourning. The woman would dress in dull black fabric and it would be completely covered in crepe. Now this dress is more of a second mourning dress because it is not actually completely covered in crepe but the veil over the face would be first morning. The veil could either be anywhere from shoulder to ankle length, just depending on the woman's preference and financial status. She would stay in deep mourning for only one year and one day because she would never want to change anything on the anniversary of her husband's death. Second mourning only lasted for nine months. The crepe would be removed from the dress, but it would still be used on the cuffs, necklines, and hems. The veil could be lifted off the face and dull mourning jewelry could be worn. Ordinary mourning lasted three months. Now the widow's dresses could be made out of a black silk or velvet, trim could be used, jewelry of gold, silver, and purchased stones could be worn, and a white collar could be added back. Light or have mourning lasted for six months. It was the last stage of mourning, and dresses could now be made out of mauve gray, lavender purple, black, or white. Jewelry could now be shiny and decorative. Now a lady would be able to re-enter society fully.